There are a ton of different ways to get the edge over your opponents. With shots, fakes, or just being really patient. But this video is not about any of those. This video is about 5 awesome freestyle mechanics that whilst they may sometimes help you beat your opponent, mostly they just make you look freaking cool. So let's learn how to do the musty flick, the delayed musty flick, and 3 variants of the beautiful Maktuf reset. Before we get started, I want to say a huge thank you to SQ Sinister who taught me how to do all 5 of these mechanics. SQ Sinister is an extremely talented sideswipe freestyler with his own YouTube channel. His channel is full of awesome clips like this, so I highly recommend you guys go check him out. The Musty Flick is a mechanic in sideswipe that takes its name from a Rocket League mechanic of the same name. In Rocket League, it's where you dribble the ball, then jump, aim forward, and do a backflip to flick the ball up like this. And in Sideswipe, it's basically the same thing, but instead of a backflip, we use a neutral jump followed by a manual flip. To do it, all you need to do is get the ball in this position with the roof of your car facing the ball. Then let go of joystick, neutral jump, then immediately aim up to do a manual flip. One of the most important parts of this move is the joystick position during the manual flip. It basically needs to be on the back side of the ball, so about here. If instead you put your joystick too far forward on the ball, you'll often just get a really weak hit like this. And there you go, there's your musty flick. The delayed musty flick is an alternate version of the regular musty flick. And actually, I think it's the more useful of the two, although it is quite a bit more difficult. It combines a neutral jump, a half air roll, and a manual flip to do this. So start off in this position facing away from the ball with your roof facing towards the ball. Then let go of joystick and simultaneously neutral jump and half air roll at the same time. Then immediately after that, move your joystick in a downwards curve, finishing in this position. Wait for the ball to get close to your car, and then manual flip it up like this. It should basically be a very fast combination of a neutral jump and half air roll, then a very quick semicircle with your joystick finishing here, and then flick up. And there's your delayed musty flick. A very cool but difficult mechanic that not only looks cool but is also extremely useful in game. So now that we've got our two musty flicks down, which are really useful for finishing our freestyles, now we're going to look at the three mechanics you can use in the middle of your freestyles. First starting with the MacDuff, then the Reverse MacDuff, and finally the 360 MacDuff. So again, the names for these mechanics come from a Rocket League mechanic of the same name, which is a type of flip reset that looks like this. And uh, don't ask me how to do this, I have absolutely no idea. All three of these mechanics in Sideswipe are basically alternate versions of the regular stall, which as you all know, is a neutral jump followed by a half air roll and then a flip reset. We'll start with the regular MacTuff. To do this one, first get into this position facing away from the ball, with the roof of our car facing towards the ball. Then neutral jump and immediately move your joystick in an upwards curve, starting from this position and ending in this position, at which point the bottom of your car should touch the ball and you'll get a flip reset.
The reverse Mac Turf is exactly the same thing, but instead of doing an upwards curve with our joystick, we're doing a downwards curve. And then the 360 Mac Turf is again the same as the reverse Mac Turf, but we also throw in a full 360 degree air roll just to make things interesting. I don't know, is that enough instruction? Honestly, these mechanics are unbelievably difficult. My best advice for practicing all these mechanics would be to just go into free play and practice doing this motion over and over. You don't even need to use the ball, just practice this. So put your car in this position, then let go of joystick, jump, and then immediately put your finger back on joystick and do a circle around the bottom or a circle around the top. And then you can add a half air roll to do the delayed musty or a full continuous air roll to do the 360 Mac Tough. But uh, good luck with that one, cause yeah, I've still not hit one. And that's it guys. That's all the information I've got for you today on the Musty Flick and the Mac Tuffs. The only other tip I could give you on the Mac Tuffs would be from SQ Sinister himself. He advises that before you do your MACDFs, you first do a stall to create the right amount of distance between your car and the ball, and then you can start your MACDF chain. And now to close out this video, here's a few more clips from SQ Sinister himself using these mechanics in-game. And as always guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.